There are three main currencies here on Minecraft Prisons on Akuma MC. Gems being one of them, tokens being another, and crystals being the third. There are a couple other things too, but these are the ones that really matter for enchants. So far this season, we've been struggling extremely with gems, and I might have found a solution. So today, let's work on that solution and see if we can finally, finally make some insane amounts of gems. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft OP Prison. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC, the most overpowered and best prison server here on, uh, on Minecraft, pretty much. Today, we are focusing again on our gem balance because it is that one balance that has been frustrating me for the entirety of this season. And it's kind of the one balance that we really, really need that you can't just buy off of anyone. Like, you can't trade gems, you can't buy them like that. So this is the only way to get it. Now, just a reminder for a giveaway that we're doing in this video it's carrying on from the last two guys we are going to be giving away the valentine's v kit shard now to enter it's very simple you just have to like this video make sure you have subscribed and go ahead and comment your ign down in the comment section then you need to jump in my discord and press the enter button in the giveaways channel and you will be entered into winning the shard the winner will be picked once the timer in that discord runs down so good luck to everybody who does enter and uh, we still haven't unlocked that one so i actually made a pretty big purchase for today's episode because um there are essentially a couple of things which we needed in order to do today's video and that was basically crystals now i could have just used the most op crystal making method which is pretty much this cannon but again it it, it takes a while like even even just the fact like shooting this cannon does take a while it does give you a really really good amount of crystals so if you are you know if you're not fortunate in the token department like i am then i would recommend using this if you guys want to get your crystals up but i just straight up bought them off someone i got a good deal i paid i think it was 150 50q for 75k crystals well pretty clo close enough to 75k crystals now this might actually be even more crystals than i even need today but we're going to open them and use them either way because essentially what we're focusing on today are crystal enchants and the reason we're doing that is because when i was looking through the crystal enchants and the different enchants that we can get i wasn't necessarily paying attention too much to what they do or what they are but necessarily like i was paying attention to what they pay and most of them are gem based enchants so for example the first one which we actually already do have maxed out is frozen gorge and this causes an iceberg to be crashing onto the mine and it does give you crystals and gems so as you can see it is a beneficial thing to you know kind of for us to have and then i was looking through the rest of them and as you guys will see this one doesn't this one is just crystals but this one is tokens and gems this one's is tokens gems and crystals and then this one is miscellaneous that is just uh that's just your cannon like it has a chance to shoot the cannon which is crystals technically but also we have five skill points to spend so let's actually spend them on the right skill tree this time we are looking to get the robot finder book although i guess it doesn't really matter anymore because robots well i guess robots do give wait is there is there a gem robot am i being stupid i think there is right so maybe this isn't the only way maybe actually getting a bunch of gem robots would be beneficial oh oh we have 107 million gems in there Holy poop. Okay, I did not even think about that this season. Wow, have I neglected that. We've just kind of accidentally discovered potentially the most overpowered way of actually getting gems this season <laughs> being the gem robot. Wow, I did not. I completely, completely blanked on the fact that that was even a thing. Even to the point where I actually have robot generators sat here that I just haven't used because I didn't think that they were really going to be of any use to us. But now that I'm thinking about this, this might actually be the most valuable thing that we own. Okay, well, today's episode is still relevant so let's go ahead and let's just go and purchase every single well let's max out every single crystal enchant that we can we got to do it anyway because it's part of the progression so let's get it going um the proc chance on these ones probably aren't going to be the best so uh it's good that we've discovered this other method because i was really wondering how the heck we are going to get all the gems that we need to get um so really i uh wow are we out of crystals i did what what cost us so much that we're out of crystals how much did wild wither freaking cost me Wow, Wild Wither must have cost me a lot of crit. What, what what just sold me out of crystals right there? I don't even know what just sold me out of crystals, but one of those was really, really expensive. Um, Interesting. Okay. Oh, I think it's this one now that I look at it. Maybe, well, is it? I don't know. How much is this thing to max out, actually? This thing to max out will be 91k crystals. Okay, yeah, that's expensive. But in which case, I'm very, very glad we discovered what we did today because I really thought that we were going to uh, actually have a chance to, to do that. Now, this is very, very important information to us. What does it cost to upgrade this robot, I wonder? It is gems that it costs, and I don't think 
from memory it's worth even upgrading now we only have four legendaries um we have we must have yeah one rare and one epic so yeah i guess these really are the meta right now so with all that being said let's go ahead and open up all of these robot generators because uh these are essentially going to be the thing which we we need the most now so let's let's get going hopefully we do get a bunch of the gem robots and not just token robots because that seems to be the the most popular one to get the 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 gem robots of i feel like are the probably the rarest and for some reason and they don't stack or anything so this could be a uh, very long process here i really can't believe that i forgot that these were a thing like i i don't know i these were one of the biggest things this season and for some reason i just completely blanked i think it's because ever since i got the amount of tokens that i pretty much needed to have i've not really had to focus on anything else and I just completely over like saw the fact that these actually do exist but it's fine though because we're figuring it out now and we're getting them all filled up and opening all the ones that we have obviously the tokens don't really matter to me however it would be nice to replenish some of the ones i just spent on crystals because we are probably gonna have to buy another bunch of crystals very very soon in order to actually go ahead and complete those crystal enchants because they are a lot more expensive than i thought they were um when i first looked before i started this video i thought 75k was gonna max all the enchants out and as it turns out not even freaking close so we do have a little bit of work to do there but that's okay that's just a case of buying it and finding someone that has enough to sell me um that is essentially all we have to do so it's not exactly hard work um it's pretty easy actually so let's get this done right here let's uh oh i don't know what is happening right now there we go um let's get all of these in and then we can see what our kind of gem income is actually going to be looking like here in a second because we've now essentially added so many more new robots to our collection this should theoretically be pumping now this should be a, a, a great business and hopefully we'll be making a lot of gems unfortunately obviously we can't really sell gems so it's really only for my personal gain but that's okay we don't really want to sell them anyway um all right now we just got nine epic ones which can only give me epic and legendary so hopefully there's going to be some gem ones in there wow not a freaking single gem one perfect that's exactly what i wanted <laughs> <laughs> not um okay yeah well, i guess we'll we'll deal with that that's fine it's not the end of the world and let's now see what we are looking at in terms of these gem robots so we've basically got eight of everything apart from rare so we will now be making wow we've already got 200k in there that's pretty good we are now making a thousand every freaking second now i will just spend one on here just to see what kind of boost it gives it yeah that is not worth it we will not be clicking that again we will not be clicking that again holy um okay yeah that's pretty cool actually so that is going to make me all of that that is going to be a case of just afking that pretty much and hopefully it'll do the work but with everything we have so far we should technically be able to buy some more gem enchants so let's take a look at what we want to spend it on uh we established that we don't need tokens anything relative to tokens is kind of pointless for us right now so we could max out whisperer we could go for some mana collector we could get 25 levels of black hole we could get 18 levels of jackhammer trying to think well black hole is not relevant because this is uh we, do, we don't need that that's a token enchant mana could be cool because mana boosters are fairly effective um i think the jackhammer is probably I think probably the most effective enchant that we could get. Obviously, we have Whisper as well, and we're, we're adding on to that. Hmm, maybe maybe Whisper is that. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go straight all into Whisper, I think, because that, that enchant has been proven to be one of the most overpowered enchants going. So uh, if we can get that maxed out as soon as possible, that would be dope. But now that we have these going ham in the background, these little robots this should be a lot easier we're getting a thousand every second so how much do i need to save up here so it take me about 27 hours i think of afking in order to uh in order to get 100 million gems so that's not actually that bad although it would be awesome to uh to, to get some more so i might uh i might visit the store quickly because uh i i might need to get some more robot generators or maybe there's a bunch of them for sale on the ah if there's epic ones and that'll be even better i think people only really sell one or two of them and that doesn't really help me all right I just claim my v kits here and we got a valentine's crate to open i don't know can we even get like pet eggs I, I guess we yeah robot generators 35 robot generators in this one so it is possible to get out of here i don't really know how i got the epic robot generators though i i don't really see a way of getting those right now so that's interesting um wait maybe from this actually epic robot gen no just regular i i do yeah i don't really know how i got that one um 35 robot generators wow you couldn't have written the script any better that is perfect actually that's exactly what we needed now we just gotta hope really that they're that they're all for in uh all gem ones because that's kind of all we need right now um we are gonna win ourselves. uh wow legendary token why can't that be legendary freaking gem honestly if that was legendary gem we'd be good to go um let's see what we get from this very very last one right here 
mythical keys we actually have a lot of keys to open as well because there was just a key all literally just now and we already had stacked up from a load of previous other keels so um yeah wow we're not really getting very many gem robots which is kind of upsetting considering it's really the only thing we need right now i guess the crystal robots will help in time as well like we're gonna need these crystals so hopefully we're making a good amount of crystals from this what are we looking at here Third, wow okay yeah we don't really make that many crystals <laughs> holy that's uh that's a bad upgrade it is what it is though um all right 14 more of these left let's hope that the majority of them are gems uh we got, we got a couple we got an epic one which is always good to see we'll take that any day of the week all right so we now have exactly nine of each we're making 1300 per second those gems are hopefully going to creep up and uh, i'm going to leave my account afk for sure and hopefully we can grab a couple of those now um we basically are back to this point now with the with with, with the pickaxe where we need to go and check what the crystal enchants are actually going to do for us because we bought them they should be somewhat effective and i think it's about time we try and see if we can get any of them to go off so the new enchants that we've gotten are Arctic Destroy, which doesn't affect it. Uh, we got Wild Wither and Geyser, which should affect it. So let's wait and see if we get any of those go off right now and see whether my gem balance does in fact creep up because we do also have the gem armor on right now and we have the gem pet going. So theoretically, we should be onto a winner. Frozen Gorge does activate quite a lot. Actually, having a look in the chat at like the different enchants that are proccing, it does seem to proc quite a lot. So actually, I think Frozen Gorge is, is probably doing a good amount for my gems. Probably nothing crazy, but it is probably helpful. Of course, we've now got the Whisper at higher levels, which um, theoretically, I think if he uses my pickaxe, he should be helping with the gems as well. My gems are definitely flying up a lot quicker than they were before, I think. I think this is now a very, very good gem income that we're having the fact that we're already up to uh up to 8 million and we only started a couple of seconds ago this is really really good news and i think it's about that time where we go on the ah and we buy a bunch of drills if there's any for sale hopefully there is um there should be a bunch of drills on here for sale 15 non 10 wow people aren't really selling in bulk right now which is unfortunate for us because i like to buy them in bulk um 15 for 10q do we do we want to spend that that seems like a lot um, we got 10 for 5q, I guess. I, I don't know. I like buying them in big, big bulk. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll wait on that. But yeah, by this time next episode, we should uh, we should essentially be, j be like jacked up on the gems because I'm going to AFK for the next like 24 hours. I'm also going to do a bunch of mining as well within that time. So I would imagine I could probably mine us easily up to 100 mil gems and then another 100 mil from AFKing. Like I really think that we're going to be in a good position come next episode. I really think we're going to have a good uh, couple hundred million gems to spend. So that's kind of the hope. Um, the reality of it is we'll see in a couple of episodes. Well, next episode, probably. I don't know. We'll have to see. Ooh, something just did a nice little thing for my gems just there. I think the cluster bomb went off and it gave me a good amount of gems. Honestly, my gem income now th at this point in the season is way above what it used to be. So I'm actually very, very happy with what we're what we're receiving right now. Like this is a really good amount of gems being up to 20 million in just a couple of minutes of mining is honestly pretty insane. <laughs> like, honestly, I'll take it at this point like it seems to be going pretty good i don't know it was very underwhelming before the amount of gems that we had coming in but i think that this has really changed it and i think that the the different enchants that we've added now over the past couple episodes has really really brought on a change and i think that we're going to be in a in a very very good place in the next couple of days and obviously as my armor levels up as well that's giving me a bigger boost um that's just based on the amount of blocks that we mine so i just got to mine more blocks uh for those but you know if those can get to max level our boost is going to be very, very good. Now, I heard that there was a little bit of lag when it came to uh, to, to keys or opening keys because um, it's, I, I think that there's a lot of, with the amount of keys that are being given out in keyholes right now, it's a little bit of a struggle for the uh, for the server to open, you know, a couple million keys every second. But, you know, once that does start to load for me, we'll uh, we'll, we'll open up some keys and we'll get going on that. I just realized that I never freaking, uh, I, I, never, I never did my prestige skills. But that's one we can save for next episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video video our progression is crazy and i think over the next couple of days we're gonna have some serious gems to uh to actually be able to start maxing out those enchants so guys if you have enjoyed this episode make sure you do smash that like button make sure you enter that giveaway for the v kit as well guys that is gonna be it from me today hopefully you have enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next episode of op prisons here on akuma mc